Hi folks, we're Travel with Johnny and Will, and we're currently on board the P&O ship Iona. We've been cruising around the Norwegian fjords uh, for the past week, and today we want to tell you about our day seven, which was our last day, and our day at sea. So we went for breakfast uh, in the main dining room, one of the main dining rooms, Pearl, on deck seven. And yeah, it was a really good experience, as as all of our main dining experiences have been so far. Yeah, I had my usual butcher muesli and selection of cooked items, um, with my poached eggs. And mm -hmm. um, we are big fans of going to a dining room for breakfast. And um, we hate like the first thing you have to do in the morning is sort of queue and fight your way, you know, to get stuff. Yeah. Um. So we just like to be able just to sit down and have people wait on us, um, which sounds terrible, but um, we're on holiday. Um, I, of course, had my usual Rice Krispies, frit, and I don't even think I had a pastry this time. No, you didn't. I did not. Yeah. Um, but again, like I said, as well says, the service was excellent. Yeah. Um, after this, uh, we decided to have a walk around the promenade. It wasn't too bad a weather. Like the nope. sea's been calm on this sea day. So we did a walk around the promenade, and just a thing to note is when you're walking around, not all the entrances and exits I out know. to the promenade will be open, so we ended up doing like a lap and a half just because we couldn't get in. <laughs> yeah, were all closed. it looks nearly like quite often like the doors leading out from the atrium are yeah. kind of like blocked off, you know, it's as if like they're afraid to let fresh air in or something, you know. And the other thing that can happen is at the front it can get quite windy, mm -hmm. so they might just block off the front. So if you find you started and went from one side round the back and into the other side, you could be stopped from getting to the front. But we were lucky. Seas were calm, and yeah. like as well said, we did like like a lap and a half. Um, we did mm -hmm. have um, because this was you know our last day. We did have a, a lot of. Uh, sorting to do, making sure that we had all our footage in order for our ship tour and things like that. Yeah. Um, so we had a couple of little things just to get sorted um, uh, in the morning time. And, uh, and then as we approached lunch, we knew we were going to go for lunch early today um, because of what we had planned in the afternoon. Um, so we just decided to go to the Keys. So we went down to the Keys and... Everybody must be loving the keys as much as we are in this cruise. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> there wasn't literally a seat available. So we just thought, right, that's okay. We'll just go to the clubhouse. We went yep. to the clubhouse, grab a drink, and we'll wait it out there. Mm -hmm. I think we were sitting for like less than 10 minutes in the clubhouse, and then yep. we thought, right, we'll try getting a seat. There was one right there, and we got seated. And then I had, today I went to Fusion, and I tried the... Um, Beef and black bean sauce with noodles. noodles. Noodles, wasn't it? Yeah. It was really good. It was so good. But again, it seemed a bit like watery. You know, you were watery. very like splashy, you know, with but your that's a with noodle your noodles. problem. And, and no, that's a noodle problem. <laughs> um, the uh, I actually um, went for fish and chips and uh, mushy peas. Um, and then I decided, I actually wanted a burger, but when I saw the queue for the burgers, I was like, no, I'll, I'll stick with fish and chips. And then I ended up going back and getting a piece of chicken uh, and some salad. And um, it was, oh, it was just so nice. Yeah. Um, like I am, you know, like. We don't like buffets, but we love the keys. Yeah. And like the sad thing is, you know, uh, today, um, you know, earlier today, I was literally starting a Tesco order. Um, you know, for like whenever we get home to pick up, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, I have to think about what I'm going to make mm -hmm. for dinner, and oh, thank goodness we don't have long to wait till our next holiday. So, uh, if you've watched our previous vlogs, you'll know that on the last sea day, which was our day two vlog, there was also a game show, and this sea sea day there is a game show. I'm not sure if many of you will have heard about it. A uh, deal or no deal. So the game show's carried out uh, in the Headlines Theatre and it's the entertainment's host, is it? It's the entertainment's manager, yeah. yeah. Manager that does it. it. Honestly, these shows are so well produced that it actually makes you feel like you're part of the audience in a real game show. Everything mm -hmm. down to the graphics, the sounds, the way. It's just really like mm -hmm. involving, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's really good. 
So very much like the TV show, um, people obviously, you know, there's like 50, uh, 20 boxes. Yeah. And uh, they no, have No, they money. don't have 20 physical boxes. Yes. It's, it's all 20 on, on the screen. screen and you decide to um, So basically, in order to be in with a chance of playing, um, you buy tickets from the casino, which I believe, I think, some, I think I heard someone say that it was like three for £35, I think. Um, now, we didn't really realise this at the time, we, so we just sort of thought, right, we'll just go and watch the, it as a game show. Um, and probably just as well, because I think had we been on the stage, it would have been nerve-wracking. Um, but basically, if you bought a ticket, um, there was a little box at the bottom, and they asked you to sort of rip the, the, the front off it, and it was like a, a number, that was your ticket number. They picked this. Uh, they picked a number at random. So there's somebody that, from the audience then who bought yeah. a ticket, then went up to actually play the game. To play the game, you could win anything from twenty five pence to one thousand pounds. <throat> mm-hmm. um, but if you weren't selected as one of the two people to go up on the stage and play the game, um, you you could play along if you had your ticket uh, in the audience. And basically, for every number of the box that the contestant picked, yeah. you if you matched it, you opened yours. And then there was basically prizes, you know, depending on how many numbers you match. Yeah. So it ranged from like a six pound scratch card, twenty pound like bingo tickets, um, like fifty pounds, two hundred pounds, and then right up to five thousand pounds. Um, they played Some two games. In the audience actually won two hundred pounds. Yeah, two hundred pounds more than the people who got picked to yeah. play won. <laughs> yeah, the but the important show. thing is to remember too is that if you do get picked to play on the stage. Your ticket is still valid, yeah, it's so still you know, playable. It's still playable, so I, you know, give that to somebody else to play for you. Um, but as Will says, the production value alone oh, was really amazing, good. and yeah. um, it's definitely worth uh, an hour of your time going to see it. Yeah, because we didn't buy a ticket, but we just enjoyed watching. Being yeah, we just literally sat there, had a drink. Somewhere. You had some nuts, and <laughs> uh, uh, we and sort of we enjoyed the entertainment value. Cotton. So after this, it was sort of well into the afternoon. It was around three, and. We were sorting things out in the cabin and then we went down to your mum's because they're on deck nine, which just sits slightly above that promenade deck uh, on eight. So we wanted to make sure that they got a chance to lap around that and we took them around um, just to show them the entirety of the, you know, the ship and the full length of it. And I think they still hadn't really realised the size of it. And I think when you're on that deck, it's the most extremities of the ship, so it is, it's really, really long. You get to the middle and you're like, oh my gosh, there's still this amount of ship to go I, I think they sort of regretted not having the chance to do it earlier oh, in the cruise yeah. because I think they would have sort of done it more often because there's obviously a lot of seats and then there's bars at either end, of the sh- you know, at the back of the ship yeah. and then there's, you know, seats outside where the keys would be, etc. So there is plenty of places that they were able to stop and have a, mm-hmm. a little pit stop. Um, but uh, yeah, so they 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 had it. They, and they the really enjoyed to it. see all the sorts of different cabins that are available. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like the conservatory cabins, or those ones at the front, mm-hmm. or the ones at the back, and you know, so yeah. Um, so afterwards, we came back inside and we went to Vistas, and uh, down on deck six. Um, Vistas is like the Costa Coffee kind of shop, um, and it does sell Costa Coffee. Um, it is obviously chargeable, um, and uh, I had a cappuccino and a little Bakewell tart. Uh, Mum and my auntie both had hot chocolates, which mm-hmm. looked quite nice. Um, you just had a soft drink, uh, but again, it wasn't that expensive to buy. And actually, I commented that I actually felt that the coffee and Bakewell tart was cheaper than what I would have paid had I went to a Costa coffee shop. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so it is affordable. So when we got back to the cabin, um, our cabin steward um, handed us a packing like leaflet thing and it basically just described the times that our cabin would be allowed to disembark the ship. Now these are times that are all planned um, in advance so that everybody goes off in a staggered manner. However, our time... Yeah, and the cases are brought off in a certain order. Yeah, yeah. And... Um, our time was 9.55, but unfortunately that would leave us way too short for our flight. So this morning we have decided to do self and self disembarkation. Mm-hmm. And what that means is we have to take our own cases off with us. And we'll have to go down and help your mum and aunt as well. So I guess if they were here alone and they need to get off earlier, they'd just have to 
arranged to be put in a different group or get yeah, off there, there are time was I think like 9.30 so it was slightly before ours yeah. but still would leave us a short time so um, we'll take their cases off for them the good thing about the self-disembarkation thing and taking your own cases off is we always have this fear that whenever we pack the night before and leave our cases outside the door that we're going to wake up in the morning and like have forgotten a certain item of clothing so like say forgot forgot to leave out a pair of trousers and we're like walking down the gangway in our pants and a t-shirt or We've something. We've never done it, so... No, we haven't, but I mean, when we do, like, we very cautiously set out our, like, yeah. um, our going home outfit, uh, but uh, it's always just like that fear that you have that you're going to, you know, have forgotten to do that. Um, and as well as that, it sort of saves in the struggles of being in the baggage hall and putting in your dirty clothes from the night before yeah. and, you know, your soap bag and things like that. So it's, it's not the worst idea to do the self-disembarkation, you know. The, the funny thing about p and is that they have a time that you're allowed to leave your case out from, which was 2 p.m. on your last, yeah. Yeah, your last day before you disembark. But they don't have a time, like a limit in the evening, which yeah. a lot of ships have. We've been on ships and one of them had like 10 a.m. was, or sorry, 10 p.m. was the latest you could leave your case out. Yeah. Whereas this, they just didn't care. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it was time to get ready for dinner. And um, we then were heading tonight to the Coral restaurant, which is at the after the ship on deck seven. And um, it was very sad. This is our last meal on board, mm. so to speak, you know. Um, and uh, but the four of us went, joined the virtual queue, and uh, no problem getting the table. And um, tonight we were very excited about the menu because we did see it in the afternoon. And uh, tonight, um, I had to start with. I had a well, we both had mm -hmm. the Singapore style chicken uh, satay. Oh yeah, which was nice. It um, was it was good, but if you're expecting like a peanut satay, it wasn't like it that. It wasn't really. It was a Singapore style, yeah. whatever that meant. Yeah. But it was really nice. Yeah. Although it wasn't <clears throat> sickly, sickly, you know, because we've had like at home, we've had like satay chicken, which is very peanutty and very. It's full know, of sugar yeah. then, and it's, yeah, it is yeah. sickening. Um, but it, last night's was delicious. Mm -hmm. And then for our main, we both had the same thing, which was sweet and sour sweet chicken. And, sour, yeah. and it came with rice and prawn crackers. And um, it didn't look like that much no, on the plate. Yeah. And then when you got through it, you were like, I was nearly struggling to finish it. Yeah, same here. Um, and it's the sort of thing that if you're at a buffet, you would literally have been scooping and scooping and scooping, and yeah. there's just no need. Yeah. <laughs> so for dessert then, um, I had the limoncello uh, panna cotta. Uh, and again, it looked so tiny in the plate, but I don't think I could have ate any more than what was mm -hmm. on the plate. Um, but uh, it was really nice too. I googled what ours was. Mine's was called a warm Monmouth meringue pudding, and I thought, what is this? But basically, it was like an, it was in a little ramekin, it's like an eggy tart, custard. T yeah, custard, eggy custard with um, like a meringue top on that had been like cooked and blowtorched, mm -hmm. and. It was really, really good. Like and there was never... plum, like a plum jam in it. But yeah, it, not... was, it was so this plum, and there was literally two wee bits of plum in <laughs> like a, a wee plum syrup. Like, uh, the plum was not the significant part of it, but it was really good. And I actually really want to make that when I get home as a dessert. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe stick photos of that on our Instagram and Facebook, so do check that out. Okay, so tonight we headed to the Headliners Theatre and the cast were doing their production of Digital. Um, this sort of mini, um there was a main character, who a bit of a love story involved uh, between this guy Ted and this girl Grace, but it all sort of evolved around nearly his digital assistant. Eliza. Eliza. Um, and, uh, and basically she was sharing facts about like, you know, the evolution of music, person, computers, things like that. Uh, and there were a lot of songs and singing and dancing and um, again the production of this off show the was off the charts in terms of their graphics. There was like one um, sort of scene in it basically where there was a guy dancing and that young guy as a dancer like he did he carried that show in terms of the dancing. He did night. all the dances that had an interaction specifically with whatever was behind. So yeah. if there was a ball coming, he was pushing it up. Yeah. Or if there was like a dancer going to come out of the wall, he like met them. Yeah. It, he he was did on point. really well. That yeah. like, 
and there was a bit where he was then sort of like lifted up into the air oh, and he was sort of like running and flying and things like that and uh, oh, he, he, uh, like he was really talented and you know? then they did the part where they were wearing like light strips down their clothing and arms and the whole stage went pitch black and then it was all synchronised. I do not know how they knew what position to be in. Yeah. Because they could not have seen each other. Like, And there was a bit where they were like doing this run, but everybody was staying still, but the lights went bam, bam, bam across the stage. Yeah. It was so good. It yeah. was actually so good. Yeah. So definitely, um, for us... The production shows themselves oh. have been amazing, so make sure you go to them. If you if you like going yeah. to the theatre, make sure you see the, the piano production shows. So on to the Sky Dome for the final show of this cruise, which was called Rise. What now, was Rise about, Johnny? Very strange. <laughs> it was strange. It was to do with a bird watcher and birds. Yes. Basically. And I feel that one was like a bird queen. That came out of that egg. Well, she was born a chick. Yeah. She was quite ugly. Yeah. But she turned into this Blossomed. beautiful yeah. uh, bird queen, um, <laughs> I think. Uh, and um, and each of the little bird pairs had their little parts to do. Yeah. There was no dialogue. It was chirp, chirp. So we went up there. We were, we were quite early, actually, for the show because we wanted to get a good seat. Mum and Aunt came with us, so yeah. they hadn't seen any of their... Sky Dome shows yet, so um, we wanted to get a good enough seat. So we were quite early and we just had a couple of drinks in the Sky Dome then before the show started. And then we rounded off our night then by getting some late night snacks uh, yeah. in the buffet. And again, the selection was oh, too much. Too much, but too like much. much appreciated piano. Yeah. Uh, like I had some like uh, like a five bean chili and. Um, and five bean vegetarian chili was really yeah. nice. And uh, with some like chips. And and then I had like a cup of tea and a biscuit and yeah it was yeah lovely you had hot chocolate you had hot chocolate yeah <laughs> um so yes so folks that's been our uh, last day and our day at sea um it's it has been a busy one um uh, from um like the the meals we've had today have been great the drinks we've been had have been great and the cocktails mm. I've had have been lovely um so uh, yeah it's very sad that we have to leave yeah. we are docked in Southampton and we are. It's literally 8 o'clock, so we need to get out of the cabin. Yeah, otherwise we're <laughs> going to be kicked off. Yeah. Sure. But we are excited to go home and see our babies. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, um, please give it a like. Um, if you have any questions about our cruise uh, or the ports, stick them in the comments below. Or Iona. Yeah, or, on, or Iona. And uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon to be alerted the next time we post a new video. And don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.